This is Dr. Abraham Weisfeld speaking to you from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, on the occasion of the November 27th International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people and with Palestine. I wish to speak to you today as a organizer for the Jewish opposition movement internationally and to say that it is incorrect of the Zionist propagandists to claim that the criticisms of the Zionist State of Israel are illegitimate because they are racist, anti-Semitic. This is false. The reasons being that in the United Nations General Assembly Resolution of 181 in 1948, it called for the establishment of two states, but the second state, Palestine, was never established. Therefore, the first state has no legitimacy as well. A second reason, the frontiers established for the state to be called Israel in 1948 by the Partition Resolution did not respect the boundaries that were stipulated in the Resolution 181. And therefore, the Zionist militias violated the UN General Assembly Agreement, and therefore it is illegitimate, and the state that it was produced by is illegitimate as well. Furthermore, the Zionist State of Israel has proclaimed itself to be a Jewish nation state, which is false. First of all, a majority of the Jewish people don't even live in that state and have not given their consent to establish a racist apartheid regime such as that in their name. We reject that Israel calls itself Jewish. It is only a Zionist project. Now, what to do? We see um, our perspective as being that of coexistence and cohabitation in a federation of two nations, the Palestinian nation and the Hebrew nation, without the state of, uh, of uh, Zionism that is presently in place in particular as expressed by its military occupation. It has uh, already retreated its military occupation from various uh, sites, from the Sinai, from the Gaza, and it will uh, continue to do so under the international pressure and uh, because of the resistance offered by the popular resistance committees. The settlements, however, which are colonies, actually Zionist colonies, continue and uh, this is the uh, problem that has to be addressed in the international forum where we have a great deal of sympathy. There is to be an international conference as called for by the Security Council next year and there we can make our case to which uh, all people will become sensitized to. Now a majority of the Jewish Americans are opposed to the occupation. A uh, majority of the world's people are opposed to the occupation and therefore the occupation will fall. I'm speaking to you in the name of the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians and the Jewish PLO, the Jewish People's Liberation Organization, which is a Jewish Bundist socialist movement that calls for Jewish civil rights internationally without imposing the self-determination of the Jewish people upon the Palestinians alone in the world. If self-determination is a principle, which it is, then it should be respected reciprocally by both parties and cannot be claimed by one when the other has not the same right itself. Thanking you very much for your attention, and we will speak again next year.